In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a PDF and add signatures to it. So if you have a PDF and it doesn't have signatures in it or it was already signed and now you're countering to do the other part of the signatures, here's the way to do that. So check out the other videos on how to get the PDF into the system. So I've got a PDF here. I'm going to click the little circle and you notice I've got a toolbar. So here's all the different toolbars and now I'm able to come in here and go, okay, I want to go to DocuSign. And this is going to take it together and package it in what we call an envelope. So here is my envelope, and I'll say, please sign offer for 123 Main Street, whatever it is. Here's the attachment. If I want to view it, I can just say view, see what it is here. I can even download and print it from this view. I can add more files if I was missing anything. So I can come here and say, oops, you're missing this file too. Use any of my own custom templates and come here to more and upload my own files or anything online. So I've got the one document I want. Now I need to say, okay, who is going to be signing or initialing on this? So you're gonna to come to add recipient and go to room participants. Now, if you've already done previous forms, you would already have the people that are in here. So I've already got seller one and seller two in the system. And let's just say it's something I need to initial to. I'm gonna make sure all three of us have that ability. So I'm gonna click on my name. So I'm part of the agent owner. Add selected. So now I've got the three of us here with the ability to sign and add fields. It's going to ask you what is your email. So I'll say please DocuSign offer 123 Main Street. Please initial the changes. Contact me if you have questions. And I'll put my name next to it. Jay. I've got everything ready. So now I'm going to go to next. This is how you get to the actual tools to add signature boxes and do everything. What I like about this tool is it instantly color coats everybody. So you'll see here I've got Cinderella in yellow, myself in blue, and Prince Charming in purple. So no matter how many people you add here, you'll have multiple colors to choose from. Now this form does not have pre-filled in templates, so it doesn't show me any initial boxes here on the right. So my job is to add an initial. So let's just pretend for this one, now we've already signed this document. So let me just come in and pretend it was something I was gonna do like um, change the price. So here's some cool things you can do. You've got all these tools here on the left. So I'm gonna do it as me, the agent, since I'm in here. I'm going to go ahead and come to the left. I know there's a button there. Can't move it. I'm trying to get to my line tool. So let me move this really quick. Here you go, there's a pencil. So this is your markup tools where you can add a line. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna add a line here. Nice and easy. I'm going to cross out the price. Then I'm going to come back to the standard fields here and I'm going to add a text box. So we'll go ahead and say, here you go. We're going to counter back, let's say at 515. So I've got that there. Now we need to have them initial it. So I've added the field. I've got it here. So I'm going to go back to Cinderella first and add an initial box. So we're going to go ahead and put an initial box here. I'm going to put it so it signs, and you can make it larger or smaller if you need to. So I'm going to put it smaller so you can still see what's here. I find if you line up the line with the line, the signature will look perfect. So I've got Cinderella's here, and I'm going to switch it over to Prince Charming. We're going to add his initial box as well. Notice it automatically made it the same size. And now I've got my changed item, and I've got my two signatures, so now we'd be able to ready to send this out and make sure it's there. Now, if you want to add a date to this, I will tell you, I'll use it for Cinderella, you would add this date signed. So DocuSign does verify the date and they give you a certificate. However, if you want the date printed on the contract when it was signed, you would just add this field and it will automatically add it with a date and timestamp. You also have the ability to add things like names, fields, if you need to do text and Dropbox and checkbox, let's just say I forgot a checkbox, I can also add it here. Property is not occupied by a tenant. Double click to click. By the way, this little plus sign just means you can make a second box really easy. So I love that. And if you don't want it, delete. And then you've got all the different options here for drop downs, any formula calculations you want, any notes, approve or decline, just adding everything you need. So if I've got it all ready, I can preview what they're going to sign. So I'm going to say preview. I'm going to come here. I'm right now in as Cinderella. So notice it's got who are you viewing as. So Cinderella is going to get this on her computer, tablet, or phone and see she has one box to sign. So I'm gonna say start, and this will be the one box she's gonna sign. So I'm showing her, hey, look how easy this is gonna be. There will be your signature and you'll be done. I can switch it to Prince Charming, make sure it's in the right box. I'm gonna to come to him, 
do the same thing here. Start one initial box. That will be it. See how it says I and it's just a, it's just a placeholder. You're not actually signing for them. So that's the preview. And when you're done, you can send it to them. So I'll say send. This is packaging the envelope. I've added all the fields that I need to, and it is now sent it over to my clients. Needs my signature. Here it goes. So these are the different ones here. Now I'm testing this out, so you wouldn't do this. However, it's got the ability needs to sign. So technically, I can come in here and sign this. So I would say continue and be able to sign it for them. To do notice, I don't have those boxes because I'm not signing for them. So this is what I had, and that was all I needed. So I don't have anything to sign. However, if it was you and you had to sign, this is how you can sign it. Click the envelope and you would hit your sign now button. The other people on this list are going to get their own email that says to sign. That's it. That's how you can add things together. That's how you get it all done and how you add signatures to a PDF. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect today.